it, it seems to be it's going to be in the form of rain. Well, for yeah, us, we're right? on the we're on the warmer side of the track with this system. We'll see about next week. I think mm -hmm. we're going to have several chances of snow between now and Christmas Day. I know snow lovers like myself are going to love this pattern coming on deck here. Let's show you what's going on with live Doppler 13 radar here. Uh, we got the big storm that's uh, blasting across parts of uh, the Rockies. You see this blizzard conditions, blizzard warnings, winter storm warnings that are wrapping up with this system. Uh, heavy snow with the wind and that's what's creating uh, the blizzard stuff. So we'll be on the wet side of this storm. Nothing severe for us, but some welcomed rain. And uh, boy, do we ever need it. It's been a dry year and it's been a dry stretch run here uh, for what was the sixth driest autumn on record for us. So this is by four o'clock in the morning. You will definitely hear this rain hitting your roof and uh, it may have some thunder with it. We could have gusts uh, over 40 miles per hour, but we're just not expecting the severe weather that they're having across parts of Texas and the Arkla Tex for today. Quiet radar locally right now. Sun mixes with the cloud cover. It is going to be breezy. You'll definitely notice that uh, 10 to 20 on the spread today for the wind. Could have gusts a little bit higher than that from time to time. We'll be in the mid 40s today. Heavy rainfall later tonight. It's going to be after midnight. Another bout comes in tomorrow afternoon. Still calling for snow showers across the area Friday and Saturday. It might be enough to cover up the ground in some locations. And a bitter blast of air on deck heading into Christmas weekend. We feel very confident we are going to have a cold Christmas, whether or not it's going to be white to be determined. So here it is this afternoon. Uh, mid 40s for temperatures probably is not going to feel that warm because of the wind. Here comes the first batch of downpours and rumbles of thunder. Chuck will have you covered on sunrise tomorrow morning. It's likely by 7 to 8 o'clock that first batch is moving out, but we'll be left in drizzle. We'll be left in some areas of fog. Here comes round number two of heavy rain tomorrow evening, and then that will depart by the time we get into Thursday morning. Between uh, midnight tonight and early Thursday morning, widespread rain numbers now looking a little bit juicier in the one to two inch range. That is just what the doctor ordered for the dry ground. Not so much for the kids at the bus stop tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. It is going to be an indoor day, no doubt about that. So we're taking the polar plunge. The first batch gets in here for the weekend. You'll notice a difference on Friday and Saturday. Even colder air looking likely the middle and latter half of next week here. So here's your seven day and it's a busy one too. So we're going to start with the heavy rain tomorrow. Rain ending by midday Thursday. Snow showers around Friday, Saturday. And then as we look to next week, we have a chance of snowfall there on Monday. Perhaps another chance of snow Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We'll see with the uh, long range outlook for temperatures coming up in the next half hours. All right, we'll see you then, Sean. Well, new at noon, inflation continues to fall here in the U.S. Prices on things like clothes, electronics, and gas continue to fall. In fact, prices.